Hey guys, it's Katie here from Bella Creativa and I'm here to do another quick page for the memory and mini album that I'm creating. So um, I'm using some, a variety of papers to make this album because we didn't have enough of everything and I wanted to use what I had. So uh, I had these two sort of mini packs of Kaiser Craft papers, one's Treasured Moments and one's called Always and Forever. And they both only had 12 pages in. So I used a few of the neutral pages from this pack, Pen and Ink, also by Kaiser Craft. And a few of the pages from this one, Floral Romance by Kaiser Craft. Um, Kaiser Craft, Kaiser Craft is the most easily available scrapbook paper here in Australia, so that would be the reason why I use that one. And my um, album I'm making is using these SVG cutting files, and if you're interested, they're available in my Etsy store. So the SVG cutting files can be uploaded to your cutting machine, such as uh, in my case, I use a Cricut Explore Air 2.0, and I think they can also be used in Brother Scanning Cuts and Silhouettes, and there might be others, but I'm not, um, you know, an expert on cutting machines by any stretch. But I have created or designed these cutting files um, to make mini albums, which means that you don't have to do any measuring. You don't even have to do any scoring if your machine's got a scoring tool. And you don't really have to do much cutting, just a little tiny bit where we cut some tabs off. But most of it's already done for you. So let's get on with the show. I've already cut some pieces out and I will show you what they are. No, I'm in a bit of a piggledy mess here. So first of all, See what I've got. I'm usually a bit more organised than this. Sort of, sort of. Uh, I'm, in, I'm really in a bit of a mess. Okay, so first of all, I am using the bracket base pages. So I have already cut those out and those are here. These, This one has the tabs, this one doesn't have the tabs. So I've already cut those out. Um, for one of the pages we are also using two of these um, pockets so those pockets are in this pockets and flips file here and it's this one here so I've cut two of those out so they've been cut out and the scoring has been done by my Cricut so then I've just burnished the fold and I've distressed around the edges then also for that page, I'm using this belly band and that is, might be back here. Yeah, in this file here, um, in this SVG file is this belly band. So I've already cut one of those out and that's it there. So then, then the only other thing I'm using is another one of these uh, side pockets or flips. Uh, and that's just the smaller one on here, so I've just got one of those. Right, so that's for both sides of the page. Um, so as I say, this is gonna be a quick little page today. Right, so then I also cut out, cut out some mats already. And so when you, if you download these SVG files, you'll see that all of the main elements themselves are in a sort of a dark pink, but then when you get to the mats, they'll all be in this light pink, just so it's easy for you to tell one piece from the other. So for my mats, I have cut out a few bits here. I have cut out um, one of the, or two of these, I should say, um, mats for my rectangle. It's not my rectangle, it's my bracket base page. So there I've got two of those already cut out, one here and one here. And then I have cut out my belly band mat, which is this one just here. And I have cut out two of these um, pocket mats, side pocket mats, the larger of them. So that's those two there. 
And then I have also, and I've got stuff everywhere, cut out a mat for this, this pocket here. So that's all the, the mats cut out. So I'll put this away and we can start constructing our page. And it's a really simple page, this one. So we'll start with a base page. Now we're going to use these tabs to attach it to this other side of the page so that we can um, create a pocket like that. But for now, we, need, we do need to cut this tab off. So I'm going to do that right now. So this is the only cutting, whoops. This is the only cutting that you really need to do and it's just cutting these tabs off. And I've left them on just to make these files more versatile for you. Each of the elements can do more than one thing. Um, so that makes life easier. Then, just uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to attach my belly band on this page, just like this. And where is my mat for that? So there's my mats for those two things there. So I might attach my belly band just um, to these little tabs at the top here like that and make it nice and tight. So I'll just get my glue. I'm using Helmar's fabric glue. Uh, I think it's possibly the sort of equivalent, I should say, of um, Fabri-Tac. Well, Fabri-Tac's pretty difficult to get in Australia. You really, as far as I know, have to order it online, at least you do over here in Western Australia. Right, so I'm just going to slide this on here where I think is a good fit. And just slide it up there. What do you think? Should I move it over a little bit? Just, just, how's that? That looks good enough to me. So I'll just wait for that to dry a little bit before we bend into those. Um, tabs back over but I can now just pop in my um, mat here that I've already cut out so I've already cut all my mats out um, and distressed around the edges of all of those as well so really all I'm doing now is just sticking it all together constructing I'm just going to slide that in there it's nice Slide it up the ways. There we go. And then I can put my belly band mat straight on top of there. Oop, and I've got glue oozing out all over the place. So then I can just pop this on there. Just like that. Looks good, nice and easy, just like that. Now, the other thing I wanted to do on this page was use these to make a sort of a pocket that we go that we'll use as a flip. So, for one of these, I'm going to keep all of the tabs, and for one, I'm going to cut all the tabs off. So I'll just get my trim, trimmer out. This is the one that I'm cutting everything off because I've put little crosses on there to remind me because I am pretty bad at forgetting which tabs I'm meant to be cutting off and then sometimes accidentally cutting off the wrong one. So I'm just going to trim this one off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that one. Ooh, last minute change. So what I'm going to do is attach this pocket, or this one here with just this single tab, down onto here, like, like so. So let's do that. I'll just put some glue on this tab. That's a last minute change, wasn't it? 
Okay, so I'm just going to slide it up here to my crease, to where my fold is. And just try and line it up at the top and the bottom. Ooh. going to fold that back so I can sort of make sure that I'm happy with where that's sitting. Okay, I'll just finish that. And then I'm just going to fold it over and just burn it along there again, make sure it's stuck on real good. And then I'm going to put some glue on these little tabs. And this one, sorry, I hope I'm in frame. Oh, stringy glue, just get rid of that. And then I'm just gonna fold this over on top of those tabs and squash it down and branch it. And a bit of glue coming out the edge. But that's okay, because that means we've got lots of glue in there and it shouldn't come apart. Right, so there we go, we've got this little flip and all I'm going to do, like a little half page flip really, is just attach it right on the side here like that. And that's what I'll do right now. So I'll put some glue on along here. And Slide it underneath there, line it up, make sure it folds over, make sure we're happy with uh, it sitting properly. Sit, go and perhaps a little, there we go. Right, and then I'm just turning it over and I'm just going to burnish that tab down, make sure the glue is really doing its thing. And I've just got a whole bit that just oozed out there, so I'll just wipe that off. Okay. So then all I need to do with that one is just um, put some mats on there and we're done. So I told you this was a really easy page. Well, they're all pretty easy when you use these um, SVG files. So this is actually the last page that I've recorded. So. Hopefully, next I'll be able to do the cover and we can put all those pages in there. Right, so there's one and then this one goes on here like this. Oh, sticky. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there like that. So I think we might do a little insert for that. I don't usually do the inserts right now, but I'm going to because we've got time. So here I've got an insert and on that also cut some mats out. So if we have a look at the SVG cutting files and we go to, oh, I've got glue all over me. We go to the inserts and tags. This one here, side pocket insert, is the one that we put in the side pocket of all of our pages. So it's, a, it's the biggest one by far. So I've cut one of those out and then I have gone to the mats for the inserts and tags, which is just here. And this is the mat for that side pocket. So I've cut two of those. And we're just gonna pop them together and then we can slide it in our little pocket there so our pocket doesn't look so lonely. So as I said, this is the last page that I've made. Um, so it's the sixth page for my six page album. And after I've done these pages, I'm going to do the cover and put the pages in. And then I'm going to probably do a video where we'll do lots more inserts and tags and things like that to go in 
um, for our album and also do some embellishing. So um, we're moving along. Okay, so that's the mat for that one. And we might zhuzh it up a little bit um, when we come to do some embellishing, I think. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got plenty of room in there and that there's no glue stock. And then I can just slide that little fellow in there, like that. So it is the same size as the insert that will go in here, so that's why it's sticking out quite a bit more. But as I say, we might zhuzh that up a little bit later. So now I um, think we'll just do the back side. So just going to have a go at bending that over. All good. And this one, fabulous. I'll just burnish that down like that. Okay, and so for the back of this page, nothing very special, just going to put a simple little pocket on it. So this is the back of the page, that's the other side of the base page. I'm just going to put a mat on here, so this is the mat that I've chosen and cut out. And I'm just pop that mat on like that so these bracket pages they're really pretty but they're a little less flexible than the rectangle base pages that we've used in other videos just because you can't do anything with this side and not really even the bottom because the pockets um, would be an odd shape so that makes these pages a little bit more simple but sometimes simple is nice so I'm sorry I'm just going to turn it around because I can only see it from this angle so I'm just popping this uh, pocket on here could definitely have done a lot more on this page but we've got quite a few busy pages that we've already done so I thought it might be a good idea to just make something a bit quieter and we can always zhuzh it up as I say with a bit of um, embellishing and we can put some nice inserts in here you know to make it a bit interesting so now I'm just popping the mat on, like that. I feel like I might have that mat upside down, but that's okay, it's good, it'll be fine. And that's it, so now all we need to do is just attach it to the back of the page here, which is going to go like that. So all we need to do is put some glue on these top and bottom tabs of this page and this one and make sure we've got this the right way up and then I'm just going to match up the top and the bottom make sure that I'm happy with where it's sitting and squash it on And the same on this side, just like that. So, looks pretty good. So I'm just going to pop a little clamp on there to hold it for a few minutes. And I thought that we might just put something in here for now. And I thought we would do a little envelope. So in the cutting files, I have just cut out this at the envelope here. So this um, shape here is the envelope and the bottom pocket uh, goes on the front of the envelope to make it an envelope. So I've cut out one of each of those. And I have cut it out in some vellum. 
hope you can see that. And I've just um, folded it and inked around the edges and now we can just put it together. Uh, and that's the bottom pocket that we're gonna pop on there. I don't need these little um, tabs on this part of the envelope. So I'm going to trim them off. So I'll just open these out. And I might use my scissors. And give it a trim. Boom. And then along the bottom. And then down here. little tabs. Might just ink those edges up a little touch more. Just along the bottom there. And the other side here. Okay, so Be so careful with vellum because it really starts to break quite easily. So now this little pocket here, I'm just going to stick on onto this one, and we have a little vellum pocket. So let's do that. A little pet, blah, 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 a little vellum envelope. So I'm just going to put some glue around here. It'd be interesting to see how this glue dries on the vellum. Actually, I haven't used this one. Um, well, I have on the vellum, but usually I c you can't actually see it. It's hidden by something else. So, Let's see if this looks all right. So then I'm just going to line it up with the bottom there and there, and with the side. And then when I'm happy with it, I'm just going to finish it down like that. Oh, I'm trying not to get glue everywhere. Okay. Oh, I <laughs> stuck it to the table. Okay, so. You can see the glue there. It'd be interesting to see how well it dries. All right, so there's our little envelope. Simples. Oh, look at that. Looks like the belly band. <laughs> right, so hopefully when it dries, this um, wrinkling will disappear. But if it doesn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. So I'll just bring this page back in here and take these off. And we'll just slide our little envelope in there for now. Might not stay right there, but that's where we'll put it for now. So that's the last page. We've just got a little half pocket with a, an insert in it that opens up. And then we have um, a one piece belly band page. And then when we flip over, we've just got this simple pocket and a little vellum envelope. So that's um, the last um, of our pages. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this really easy, super quick page. It's always good to know that you don't have to do real convoluted fancy pages that sometimes simple is the best, you know. So it's completely up to you when you, the, when you use these um, SVG files as to, you know, um, how fancy or how simple you'd like to make it. And of course, every album can be different. So, um, as I said, if you're interested in the uh, Memoria SVG cutting files for mini albums, you will find the link to my Etsy store in the description box below. Thank you very much for taking the time today to watch this video and I hope that you join me again in the series. Uh, and I'd love it if you subscribed, if you're interested and gave me a thumbs up 
Thanks very much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.